So welcome back to Field and Table Outdoors. Uh, today we're gonna take all of our hard work that we put in for the season and we're gonna actually take it and put it into a meal that we can actually eat. So I'm really excited to, to take all these ingredients here, combine them together and, and make a good meal. With our channel, we really want to emphasize the hunting, the preparation, the cooking, and the eating of the outdoors. It, when combined it all together, it's just a phenomenal aspect of outdoor living. So not only are we going out and filming in the woods and showing you what we do, we also want to show you a few ideas of how you can take your food, take your wild game, and turn it into a good meal. Generally, as outdoorsmen, a lot of time we just take a little salt and a little pepper, throw it on a venison steak, call it good. But you can do more than that, and I'm trying to show you that right here. Without further ado, wild rabbit stew for the hardy outdoorsmen. This is why I do what I do. <laughs> First, we're gonna break down the rabbit into five parts. The two front legs, the two back legs, and the back straps. If I'm not mistaken, these rabbits come with their, their internal organs. Yep, one kidney right here, one kidney right here. And don't get rid of this belly fat because this belly fat can actually be some of the best best part of the meat on a rabbit. So a rabbit's just a, a little bit gamier chickeny taste. It's like squirrel, as in chickeny gamier flavor, but it's less tough than a squirrel. Um, and a little bit tougher than a chicken. So I'm just gonna cut off this belly meat and I'm gonna save it for the stew itself. I'm gonna end up cutting that up into chunks. When we actually get the stew, I'm really hoping that when I pour me out a bowl, I'm getting me some of that. And by no means am I an expert cook, so don't hate on me. I'm just telling you right now, I thoroughly enjoy to cook. I wanna show you guys how you can also make better meals out of your wild game, and not just a little salt and pepper, flip both sides, done. That's it. So just like the front end of a deer, <clears throat> there's nothing actually connecting these two front arms to the body other than right behind this little shoulder blade. So if you just take your knife right behind that little shoulder blade, just cut away, the front shoulders will just come right off. And you can get all this extra good meat right there. Do the other side, again, find that little shoulder right in the back end, come underneath it, and just cut away. So now we got our belly fat, our back legs, our front legs, and our back straps on the plate with the internal organs, here being the lungs, the two kidneys, and the little heart. Now, I'm not gonna eat the lungs or the kidneys, not my thing. However, up to you. So I'm gonna toss these. However, the heart, definitely. Good little snack that I'm gonna have after I fry up these pieces of meat. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take this, we're gonna bread it with um, <clears throat> a little bit of flour, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and add some onion powder to it. We're gonna bread these real good. We're gonna stick them in a frying pan until they're brown on each side, and we're gonna use the Instant Pot. So we're gonna be cooking with the Instant Pot today. It's a really quick and easy way to get a meal done if you are running late from work, if you uh, just don't wanna take the time to cook, um, <laughs> if you're a guy that has no idea how to cook, or a girl, then Instant Pot's the way to go. I enjoy it. <clears throat> you can get them on Amazon. Instant Pot's not sponsoring me, but if they want to, that'd be cool. So before I flour these, I'm gonna dry them off with some paper towel. Helps to keep the, the flour nice and good on top of the, uh, the rabbit. We're gonna cut these back straps into little chunks, as well as the um, belly meat. And we're just going to chunk them up, throw them in there, flour them, all before we throw them into the pot. So now with all that dried off, paper towel and cut into chunks, we are gonna add our flour. Quarter cup of flour, 
a little salt, and a little black pepper. And for a little spice in your life, a little chili powder. Flip it around with the flour into the bowl until it's all pretty good and well covered. So now that our pan's nice and hot, we are going to lay these down into the oil. And we don't want to stick all of it in at one point. We don't want to overcrowd the pan. Just what fits comfortably. So while that's cooking up, we're going to keep a close eye on both, but we're going to try and get some vegetables done. Um, so we got some peppers, an onion, a potato, carrot, and some cream of mushroom soup, some beef broth, all that combined together. It's going to go into the pot. The Instant Pot will do the rest. It'll be great. So we're going to cut our peppers. I'm going to try and stay outside the seeds. And then, seeds all in one, just throw them out. So we're going to try and slice these into nice little chunks. They will obviously reduce down in the, in the pot, so not too small. You don't want to get any of the white stuff of the pepper into there because that will start to make it bitter. There's one pepper done. Not in a red pepper. And peppers go into the pot. Carrots <clears throat> into the pot. Good handful of mushrooms. A few more because they'll get smaller. Whole thing of beef broth. I'm just gonna pour all that in there. We're just gonna set the instant pot to slow cook high, and we're gonna set a timer for an hour. So I'll cut up these potatoes. I'm just gonna dice them up. And potatoes into the pot. One cup of any dark beer, don't worry, the alcohol will cook out. Two can of cream of mushroom shoe. Little spoonful of diced up or minced up garlic. Little bit of chili powder. And a little bit of water. And onion. Gonna add a little thyme. And stir it all up. For the win, a whole stick, half stick of butter. Everything's better with butter. So guys, now that we got everything in our pot, we're just gonna let it sit in there for the 45 more minutes that it's gotta cook. Put the lid on. And let it do its thing. See you guys in 45 minutes. So we put it on slow cook for about an hour, um, but it wasn't all the way done. Potatoes were still a little bit hard, so I threw it on pressure cooker for another 10 minutes. Um, and on high, Hopefully it'll be done real soon. All right, so we're finally done. I'm gonna release the pressure. So after a little taste, it needs a little salt and pepper still. So it's a little soupy, <clears throat> just gonna let it simmer down a little bit, see if it kind of thickens up. Um, other than that, it looks pretty good. The meat's cooked all the way through. The potatoes are nice and soft. The uh, carrots are perfect. So I mean, can't ask for more. I'm gonna try something risky, throw a little sauce in it. I mean, hot sauce goes good on everything, right? Rabbit is perfect. 
Perfect though. So guys, final product. It's more of a soup than a stew, but hey, it still tastes delicious. Anyways, from fill the table, finally the table. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoy watching the show. Um, if you guys have any comments, put them below. Like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, it'll help us do more here at Field the Table. So, thank you very much. Bye.